There's new fallout after racist remarks at a Los Angeles City Council meeting were leaked. The council's president has now resigned, saying in a statement, I take responsibility for what I said, and there are no excuses for those comments. Here's NBC's correspondent, Gotti Schwartz. L.A. City Council President Nuri Martinez resigning after a leaked audio recording first reported by the L.A. Times and obtained by our affiliate KNBC captured Martinez and Council Member Kevin DeLeon making racist and disparaging remarks in 2021. The attacks targeted fellow Council Member Mike Bonin and his young son who is black. The comments which were spoken behind closed doors in 2021 referred to an MLK parade in which Bonin participated in with his son. It's like the oddest thing, it's like black and brown on this float. And then there's this, this white guy with this little black kid who's misbehaved. The kid is bouncing off the effing wall on the floor, practically tipping it over. Martinez is also heard describing the child as a little monkey in Spanish. Or even like a little white kid, which I was like... This kid is a beat down. Like, let me let me take him around the corner and then I'll bring him back. The source of the recording is unknown, and NBC News hasn't determined whether it's been edited. But the LA Times reported that during the conversation, De Leon also appeared to compare Bonin's handling of his son to Martinez carrying a Louis Vuitton handbag. Council member Bonin releasing a statement saying in part, we are appalled, angry, and absolutely disgusted that Nuri Martinez attacked our son with horrific racist slurs and talked about her desire to physically harm him. The conversation reportedly taking place during a meeting that also included Council Member Gil Cedillo and Ron Herrera, president of the L.A. County Federation of Labor. The group was discussing the redrawing of council district boundaries. Cedillo and Herrera are not heard on tape making any racist remarks. In a statement, Cedillo apologized and said he should have intervened when racist remarks were uttered, while Herrera said in a statement that there was no excuse for the remarks and his inaction. Martinez and De Leon both issuing apologies over the weekend, with Martinez stating, In a moment of intense frustration and anger, I let the situation get the best of me, and I hold myself accountable for these comments. For that, I am sorry. De Leon, for his part, said, There were comments made in the context of this meeting that are wholly inappropriate, and I regret appearing to condone and even contribute to certain insensitive comments made about a colleague and his family in private. I've reached out to that colleague personally. Thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Follow today's top stories and breaking news by downloading the NBC News app.